Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is, um, I have chewed this video over and over in my head about the best way to, to talk to you guys about this, the best way to tell you what I've decided to do, to tell you all of it. I'm not leaving YouTube. That, I, I realise that that sounds like I'm going, I'm not going. But I have really, really chewed this over for weeks now about the best way to, to put this, about how much I wanted to say, how much I didn't want to say, how much I wanted to disclose and how much I didn't want to disclose, I'm making this sound much more thrilling than it really is. Let's get down to brass tacks. I am not going to be on YouTube for the whole of January. <coughs> With one or two tiny exceptions. <coughs> So I've decided basically to take January off and this is why. I have a death pile that could sink the Titanic, if the, you know, like, like, like the size of the iceberg that took the Titanic down. And the reason for that is that I have put more of my time and effort into YouTube recently and less of my time and effort into eBay. So to give you some backstory, a couple of years back I had four or five small income streams. My money came in from four or five different places and combined they were enough to pay the bills and leave me not wondering whether I could clear the direct debits next month. However, two of those income streams went in mid-2019 and then the pandemic arrived in early 2020 and everything changed. So I lost a third income stream and what I was left with was eBay and YouTube. Luckily, YouTube had begun to grow at that point and the money that began to come in from YouTube, which started to come in regularly on a monthly basis instead of every three months as it had been before. When you start YouTube, just to give you some backstory, you don't get any money at all until you have at least a thousand subscribers and so many watch hours and then you only get a trickle and it gradually builds. It takes a long time before you earn anything that is even worth looking at. You know, the first, the first year or two I probably earned pennies, let alone not even pounds. Anyway, through 2020 my channel began to grow and it began to be a significant part of my income and even more so because I had lost those other income streams that I talked about and I knew that the best way to make YouTube continue being a significant part of my income was to have a rigid upload schedule that's what YouTube likes it's what the algorithm likes and so my upload schedule was four videos a week I know a lot of people out there who do one video every day and fair play to those people I don't know how they manage it because four videos a week on top of eBay and family issues and various other commitments has been educational to say the least. I have had a long, it's been a long year and as I mentioned just before I went on holiday I felt like I wasn't keeping all my plates spinning and certainly recently my eBay plate has stopped spinning considerably. So I'm taking January off primarily to focus on eBay. I want to clear this death pile. I want to get my eBay back to being my main source of income and furthermore I don't want YouTube to be a significant income stream for me. I want it to be fun. I want to do YouTube videos as and when I want to do them. I want to put out what I want to put out rather than feeling that I have to stick to a schedule. So I've decided to take January off. I think I've, I think I've rambled a bit during this but I've decided to take January off to primarily focus on eBay and to get my eBay back up to code but also to give my head a break. Being on YouTube is not, it's not all moonlight and roses and sometimes you just need a break. Sometimes you need a break. And you'll have seen that I gradually dropped various things. I dropped the Sunday live stream, I dropped the weekly waffle, I dropped the Saturday uploads. Gradually I trickled bits and bits off but instead of that I put Vlogmas in and Vlogmas is, Vlogmas is a lot. <laughs> Vlogmas is a lot. Um, and so I haven't really felt the benefits of dropping that other stuff yet. So the plan is to drop all of it for January apart from there is still a video in the pipeline which is Ashley's... my bat my camera battery's flashing, I'll be back. Okay I'm back. <laughs> There's still a video in the pipeline which is Ashley from Paper and Twine sent me the um, advent calendar box challenges and I'm still working on getting that video out to you. So that one will appear at some point. And there may be a couple of weigh-ins because I feel like if I let the calorie crush go entirely I may let the diet go entirely and I don't want to do that. But apart from those there will be no uploads on my channel throughout January and why am I announcing this? Because otherwise people will message me and go, are you okay? I am okay. <laughs> I am okay. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a bit of a bit of a dead space on my channel just for January. I'll be back in February. When I come back in February, I will be making the videos that I want to make instead of the videos that I feel like I have to make. And I will be definitely and defiantly running my channel 
exactly the way I want to run it. This is my channel. This is my space of the internet. I will do whatever I please on my channel. So thank you for joining my TED talk. And um, like I said, the Ashley Paper and Twine video about at some point, and I will see you guys in February, refreshed, revitalised, and ready to hit the ground running for the rest of 2022. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.